Honourable Senators, I wish to draw your attention to the presence in the gallery of Julie Blackhawk. She is the guest of the Honourable Senator Boyer. On behalf of all Senators, welcome to the Senate of Canada. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Senators, today I rise in this chamber to pay tribute to Juliet Blackhawk. On February 28, 2020, Juliet Gakikwe Anakineb Blackhawk was quietly called to the spirit world. Juliet was a member of the Laksul First Nation and lived in Sioux Lookout. She followed the traditions of her Anishinaabe way and was of the Caribou or Attic clan. Her Anishinaabe name was Kakikwe, which means forever in life woman. She was gifted with Anishinaabe traditional knowledge and teachings, which she shared with many she met along life's journey. She was especially fond of offering her knowledge and teachings to children and to youth. Juliet was gentle, kind, wise, and affable. Both family and friends alike remember her for her passion for Anishinaabe culture and her eagerness to share her knowledge and experiences with others. When I met her, I was invited to the community of Sioux Lookout for the celebrations on Aboriginal Day. Juliet was the elder for the Nanishnabe Gamak Friendship Centre, and I was honoured to have participated in the sunrise ceremony that was led by Juliet. Last year, she came to visit me here in Ottawa. She was so excited, and we were so excited to have her here. She made such an impression on all of us with her gentle spirit and good humour. She had such a twinkle in her eye, and I'm so grateful that I knew her. Juliet was a teacher. She taught in many area schools with students who were eager to learn the language and culture of the Anishinaabe people. She was also an elder advisor to many organizations where she advocated the seven sacred teachings. Love, respect, humility, courage, honesty, wisdom, and truth. Juliet's efforts in the classroom were complemented by her extensive community involvement. She loved beading and she took pride in making dresses and traditional regalia for dancers. She was a ceremony keeper and conducted sweat lodges and full moon ceremonies. She protected and blessed the water and taught others about its importance to all living matter. Yes, Juliet was a helper. She was always available and willing to offer her support to those who needed it. She never turned a blind eye to any challenges that others faced. Juliet supported many good causes and was an advocate for social justice. She was a survivor of Canada's residential schools, having attended two of them. She championed human rights, combated racism, and strove to improve the recognition of and respect for Indigenous rights within Canadian society. She was a pillar of her community. And she was blessed with four children and many, many grandchildren. Although she'll be dearly missed by many, Juliet's legacy will live on in the memories and actions as the successive generations of Anishinaabe youth become men and women. Her teachings will join the body of knowledge that in life she labored to preserve and share with others, and that in death will continue to instruct how they too may live the good life. Miigwech and rest in peace, Kakikwe. Thank you.